Hey doll friends, welcome back. Um, this is Little Honey Buns Doll Nursery. Um, for those who are aware of my little um, adventure of uh, trying different, different things, this is the silicone doll that I got from Amazon that I told you guys that I was going to try to learn, use to learn to paint, and I told you guys that I chickened out and I decided not to paint it because I had a broad idea because of something I once did before. Well, I just want to give you guys an idea of what I do, how I how it looks. This is my silicone doll from Amazon. I gotta learn to turn that TV off when I'm working on here. And it might look shiny because of the TV, but it's not shiny at all. This is a doll, um, YouTube. And ever since I did him the first time, I haven't had to powder him. He had no sticky, shiny, you know, anything going on with that. I'm going to show you here, away from the television, so it's not so shiny. <laughs> I didn't get around to rooting him hair yet. I might do that tomorrow. I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to do that. But I haven't gotten around to it. But this, this is my arsenal. You see here? It's makeup. And Q-tips with pointy edge Q-tips. I have blush. I have complexion powder. You know, and I have the eyeshadows, which I use the uh, the pointed Q-tips for to work in uh, creases and things like that, dark areas, like in the eyes. See the crease in the eyes. So yeah, I just wanted to come on for a quick minute and give you an idea of how I do that. And real quick, I'm going to show you how I apply it, which is really not much different than how you apply regular paint when you're painting a doll. I just add a little bit of the color. See the brown here? Add a little bit of the color. And I dab it on all over. The same way you do with the powder or the same way you do with a sponge when you're painting silicone. I mean, when you're painting a vinyl kit or even a silicone or however you paint a doll kit. Same way. All over head to toe, ears, everything. You know, I do one section at a time, like the middle, the limbs, the head, the back, and I turn them over and do the same thing. And then for the blushing, same thing, just a little bit in the in the blush color, and dab it on the cheeks. That's what I do. And someone asked me about the um, the eye creases. I take a pointed Q-tip. See the pointer Q-tip, and I just tap just very little into the charcoal color, and I take my fingers and I separate the eye crease, and I just run it through one time on each eye. And, it, and if you have a little smudge, just take the other clean end of the Q-tip and clear it. There you go. And there he is. <laughs> He's a floppy little guy. Oops. <laughs> Tap, tap, tap. That's how I do it. And then what I do is I let the silicone doll lay for a couple of hours untouched. And then once it's done that, because this makeup, it, it seeps, it absorbs into the silicone. I run him under cold water, rinse him off real good, and lay him back on the cut, let him dry, and the color stays. And the first time I did this, what, a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't had to powder him. You know how to use a silicone powder? I haven't had to use any of that. He's not shiny or sticky at all. And there you have it. <laughs> this is how I learned to take care of a silicone doll of my uh, collection, which is, uh, you know, it's just a little inexpensive silicone doll that I wanted to use to practice to learn how to paint with. But I decided not to go at that yet, because I don't think I'm ready, but... But I knew I wanted some color on this doll, and I know how to do it in my own type of technique. 
You know, everybody does their own thing. You know, I know as a professional silicone doll artist, you have to follow the exact rules and, and uh, steps and, you know, techniques for painting expensive silicone dolls, okay? But this is just my rendition of how I do a uh, silicone doll, you know, just for my own liking as far as technique. And it lasts. It doesn't rub off, you know. Once the cold water sets it in, it doesn't rub off. It might, just like with the regular silicone doll, you have to powder them sometime. This one, I haven't had to powder since I did it the first time. And the last time I did a doll like this, I, I didn't have to powder it either. And when you do powder it, you don't powder it with white powder. You just powder it with the same makeup powder. You know? But very rarely will you need to do that. Not on a regular basis anyway. I would say maybe uh, once a month you might have to powder the makeup powder on the doll. And that's it. That's how you, that's your habit. This is my emerald and he is my silicone baby. He's a 16 inch silicone doll. And uh, he needs some clothes. <laughs> Alright guys, take care. This is Little Honey Buns Doll Nursery. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. Please share and join my little nursery here. And let's have some fun. <laughs> take care. Bye. Have, have a good weekend. Be kind.